What's going on guys, Nate the Great coming at you back again for another book review. As you can see, I, I am wearing the same exact outfit. I'm doing these back to back and uh, yeah, I've been reading through books like crazy of late to be honest, but just got a message pop up. But my next book by Damon John, The Power of Broke. All right. Some of you might know this guy from the star of ABC Shark Tank. Really great book, How Empty Pockets, A Tight Budget, and A Hunger for Business Can Become Your Greatest Competitive Advantage. So, as you can see, it's, it's really not that bad, isn't it? It's, it's a really thin book. I mean, compared to the 48 Laws of Power, yeah, you can tell a big difference. The text isn't bad. Not at all. I will tell you, this book is really operated off of stories, to be honest. So, I'm just going to read the back. Damon John has been practicing the power of broke ever since he started selling his home sewn t-shirts on the streets of Queens. With no funding and a $40 budget, he had to come up with out-of-the-box ways to promote his products. And so he hatched an idea for a creative campaign that eventually launched the FUBU brand into a $6 billion global phenomenon. But it might not have happened if he hadn't started out broke. With nothing but a heart full of hope and a ferocious drive to succeed by any means possible. Far from being a liability, broke can actually be your fuel for success as an entrepreneur, says Damon. Why? It forces you to think more creatively, use your resources more efficiently, connect with your customers more authentically, and market your ideas more imaginatively. It forces you to be true to yourself, stay laser focused on your goals, and come up with innovative solutions to make a meaningful mark. Drawing on his own experiences as an entrepreneur, branding consultant, and a shark on, MB on ABC's Shark Tank, <laughs> wrong one, uh, as well as stories from other entrepreneurs who have hustled their way to wealth, Damon, Sh Damon Shaw <clears throat> shows how we can all leverage the power of broke to achieve fame and profit. When, you, when your back is up against the wall, your bank account is empty, and creativity and passion are the only resources you can afford. Success is your only option. Learn how to tap into that power of broke to scrape, hustle, and dream your way to the top. So, yeah, really great back cover. Great read. I'm just going to read off... Um, let me let me go to the table of contents. Some, someone you guys might know. So I'm gonna read off Tim Ferriss. For those of you who are really big into like business, I'm sure a lot of you, a lot of you have heard of Tim Ferriss. At at the back, of, the thing I like about this book is at the back of the book, at the end of each chapter, matter of fact, Damon provides. It's called, like a key shark point. You know, like Shark Tank. You know what I mean? So, so basically, like. They provide each person that has a story in there their shark point and it summarizes it all. So if you do like to summarize, so crucial. So Tim, uh, yeah, Tim's shark point, Tim Ferriss's shark point, adore what you do. All along the four hour work week, which is Tim's book, concept was close to Tim's heart. He practiced it, preached it, lived it, loved it. Mostly he loved the way it could transform lives. Once people bought into it and this became his passion, his fuel only the irony of making that happen for others could have been easily lost in a hard charger like Tim. He was too busy working his tail off and loving every minute of it to realize that his four hour work week concept was only connecting with so many people because he was putting in a hundred hour work week work weeks himself. Here again, we see a great example of a, of a successful entrepreneur who started out with a message, a mission, and out of that, he was able to build a business and a brand. So what are you trying to get across? You know, so Really great book. Personally, myself, like, I learned a lot of, <clears throat> it doesn't matter where you start, right? It doesn't matter if, if you're on the streets, if you barely have any money to your name. There's a lot of stories of people in here that pretty much started with nothing. And the ways that they improvised and basically, you know, executed. And, and they went and faithed it instead of feared it. Definitely helped them big time for their successes. Again, like, I'm sure for some of you guys who might have watched, you know, Drake and Josh, um, Josh Peck, his stories in here and how he grew up and sort of blew up. I didn't realize Josh came from like a, a background that wasn't necessarily the best. Uh, Rob Deerdeck, he's another one that's in there. So anyways, this book is amazing. I highly recommend it. In terms of like, when do I recommend reading it? Honestly, you could read this as one of your first personal development books. I think Damon really lays it out well in this. He really keeps it simple. And the stories alone are really great. Uh, again, if you're into skim reading, highly recommend it as well. So hope this, hope you enjoy the video, guys. Uh, on my next one, I got a few more coming up. And yeah, hope you're enjoying these.